you know, would you recommend using your PLOC to start an IBC policy? People have done it before. No, I'm not going to necessarily recommend it. It is an alternative, right? If, if I had cash on hand, if I paid off a ton of debt and I got this extra cash flow available capital, I, I would prefer to just start there. And then my PLOC can be backup. So if I have $10,000 in savings and I want to start a policy funding $15,000 a year, well, I can pull from the 10 that I have in savings. Let's say you save 10K every year and then you can leverage five. So now you're funding 15K and then you do velocity banking on the five, pay it off, pay basically nothing in interest, right? Is there a magic number or percentage of cash flow one should have before starting an IBC policy? I do believe there's a number and this is my personal preference, personal preference that is healthy, but not required, All right? So not required. It's a preference. Let me be abundantly clear. It is a preference, my friend. So when it comes to IBC, I prefer if I was in your shoes, I want to have a monthly conservative, consistent cash flow of at least $1,500 a month, at least. All right, that's 18K a year, I think. All right, so that's the cash flow I'd like to see. I would prefer to see you debt free or close to it. Prefer close to it to me means that all you have is a mortgage and maybe student loans left, but you've eliminated all your consumer debt cars, loans, credit cards, IRS debts, collections, like things like that. All those are done. And all you got left is the mortgage, maybe student loans. This is healthy because we have to understand about the infinite banking concept. It's a slow game, right? It's a slow game, no matter which way you look at it. It's a slow game. It's steady. It's reliable. And there's guarantees, right? It's liquid. Is this going to perform like a real estate investment? Probably not. Is this going to perform like the stock market? Probably not. Is this going to perform as if I started my own business? No, no, no. This is protection protection if you're not sold on the basic fundamentals of ibc which is guarantees protection life insurance tax-free location to store money tax-free payout of the death benefit basic stuff if you can't get sold on those things i don't recommend doing it i don't recommend dumping a majority of your cash flow or a majority of your debt weapon because when you borrow from here to start an IBC policy, no matter which way you look at it, buddy, you're in the negative. No matter which way you look, it's, you're, you're negative out the gate, right? And it's going to take a while to make, make that money back up. So I would rather people have strong cash flows, strong income, low expenses, a nice gap between what they make and what they spend, capital available. I, I want to see a habit like, hey, on top of the cash flow of 1500 a month, I'm also saving a thousand a month. So technically I have 2,500. So saving a thousand a month, that's 12,000 a year. That's, that's great. Cause now it's all you're doing is relocating where you save money. That's, you know, that's it. Nothing crazy.